Critical Hit of Major Spoilers podcast. Thank you so much for downloading and listening and sharing this episode with a friend. Oh, we're back into some weird Western stuff. We took down some uh, roaming bad guys. They kind of set an ambush for us last time, so let's see what happens next, Sam. Uh, so, you guys, as you said last time, uh, critical, uh, critical Hit, hit. Critical hit. It, fought some I'm bandits. Uh, and then, yeah, you checked out the um, wagon, discovered what had unfortunately happened to the previous one, the owners, and set it and its horse back in the direction of redemption. And then uh, I believe you were continuing on your ride? Correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, had a, I had a couple of questions because we leveled up since last time. Yes. On critical hit. <laughs> yes. So... Uh, I walked out of that five with, but out of that fight with five hit points. Um, yes. So if I level up, do not do I now instead of having five out of eighteen hit points, do I now have five out of twenty-seven hit points? Oh, that's a really good point. Um, well, let's say, um, <laughs> it's it's you know what we'll just go ahead and say that by leveling, you're we'll we'll run it like a video game here that you are all fully healed. Um, and have had your healing searches restored. Yeah. Through leveling. Yeah. You know, if it's really a video game, we'd also get like a magic item. Yeah. <laughs> you, Rob, uh, Rodrigo, have got some magic bullets. And by magic, I mean bullets. <laughs> and by got, you mean intersected. Yes. Yeah, I got okay. them out of my gut. Yeah, that's where they keep them. And I got him out of your gut, too. That sounds painful. I don't like it. Let's not do that anymore. We are okay, riding to a, to a bog or to a swamp? Uh, so you are swamp. riding towards a uh, port city, actually. Ah, okay. I, I believe, unless you had decided to go to the swamp instead. Um, I was under the impression that you were going to the port that is near the swamp. Okay, yes. Yeah, we were gonna go there first. What's the what's that city's name? Uh, double check that because I wrote down uh, Los Brazos de Santiago, which is Spanish for the Brazos of Santiago. Yep, Spanish for the Camino. <laughs> uh, and that uh, the port is still. Uh, more than effectively days away, but there's a town uh, called Perdition, actually, that's between he- Redemption and the port, um, cleverly named because the only time people actually go there is because they're going between Redemption and the port. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nicely done. So, um, but that would be presumably, I mean, you don't have to go through there, but presumably it would be the best place to, to stay the night on your way. Sure. That makes uh-huh. sense. Cool. Well, then, yeah, riding past Beyond the Bandits um, is relatively uneventful. Um, it's a nice time of year. It's it's late summer, um, which is still quite hot and um, hotter as you get towards the port. It starts getting a lot more humid. Uh, but cactuses and palm trees that are all the cactuses are in bloom. Um, there's like barrel cactus with have bright yellow flowers on top of them and have kind of a hairiness to actually protect their spikes uh, and the rest of their body from the sun. And then uh, there's uh, uh, Nepalis, the um, the big flat cactus have like their pink fruit out. Um, and yeah. I grab um, some. Cool. Do you grab some of the fruit? The uh, actual the uh, prickly palm? pears? Yeah. Grab the mm-hmm. cactus by nah. Cool. Well, yep. actually, the cactus is itself edible. Yes. So maybe I'll grab some of that, too. Yeah. That was... The the paddles, that's the word I was looking for. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's good eating. Yep, uh, not too much, just a little bit. Cool. Yeah, there's, you know, some lizards out and about. You see there are some, um, like, uh, people who have 
knowledge nature and survival can see evidence there's like some burrowing owls that live in the area um you can tell by their little nests probably some snakes too but you know that's pretty standard and nothing that tends you you know sometimes it'll go across the trail this is still pretty wild area even though like lots of wagons do come through here and yeah unless you guys want to talk about anything else um the ride is gonna pass for a few hours I do have one question. For me, or? Yeah. Sure. What should be my AC? I think I muffed it. Uh, you think you upped it? I think I messed it up. I think I changed my AC when I meant to change my hit points. Oh, uh, I don't know. Let me take a look at the character sheet. Yeah, so your AC is pretty easy for you. It should be your, um, dex plus your, uh, item that you have that's your ac item and plus one for having the feet dodge plus 10 plus 10 right yes that's important uh so 26 25. it should definitely not be 26 <laughs> that's gonna say that's pretty impressive you said it's plus it's 10 no way it is i said plus 10 yeah okay my dex so- my dex is 14 Dex oh, modifier. Sorry, yeah. dex modifier, not yeah. your actual dex. Sorry. Oh, math is hard. Okay. So thirteen. Uh is that right? I feel like your armor item gives you a plus two, but I could be wrong. Oh, and maybe. yeah, and you've got dodge. So I think it's fifteen. Take a look at your armor item. I may not have my armor item on my new character sheet. Okay. I don't. That's what happened. Okay. So my What's that item called? Uh, it's called bracers thing. of armor. We're right. Yeah, about yeah. To you've you've got of bracers time. of armor plus two, so it should be uh, your. So your AC should be um, fifteen. Uh, so Chema, yes. Uh, that group that attacked us back there. Mm-hmm. They work for the person who stole this artifact. Uh, they must. Uh, at least they must have been hired by them or uh, a greater interest that is trying to uh, keep me away from it. Hmm. And do we know who stole the artifact? I do not know. But I am starting to believe that it was not a simple theft, but rather a uh, large and premeditated uh one, since this person seems to have a lot of resources. It, even if these were hoodlums, it still takes some doing to hire an entire ambush. Would you not say? Mm-hmm. I, I agree. agree. Well, I'm Fortunately, curious. as it turns out, I happen to have availed myself of exactly the uh, four strangest people that I could have. Mm-hmm. I see. Uh, I'm curious. Do you think that this is the work then of a organized crime uh, group, or could this be something more of a religious cult that has that is do, is behind all of this? I I could not tell you now. If it was uh, if it was an organized crime syndicate of some kind. I feel that they would have tried to sell the item long before they had gotten it out of Mexico. Um, So if they did, then perhaps I am selling whoever, or I am now chasing whoever bought it. But I am not entirely certain. I think that this was taken either by someone who very much knew what the artifact is supposed to be doing, or by someone who is trying to use it in some other way and are now dealing with the consequences of it. I see. And what is the artifact exactly? Uh, It is a statue, a small statuette of an owl. Um, This is going to be... Mr. The Hanging Judge? Yes. Do you know of of any religious cults or syndicates that are in this region that might be of transporting this item? 
Not particularly. Okay. Uh, those ruffians we ran into back there were of a known group in the area, but I do believe they're just hired muscle and don't have any full idea of the uh, goings-on as a whole. What what group? I am not on that <laughs> <laughs> Uh What's the name, Sam? The Renfield Gang. The Renfield Gang. You can uh, note them by their red bandanas. <laughs> <laughs> and they always wear the red bandanas? Or is it just some red on their costume? It tends to be red bandanas. Okay. Specifically. Well, you can't fault their style. Well, for groups like that, it is important to be known. That is, uh, they entirely rely on their reputation. So that is how they got hired. But not stand out necessarily. So yes, you and think a bandana is something you can easily hide if uh, if the uh, local sheriff gets wind of you. So it makes sense. So both of you think that this is just hired muscle and not part of the larger group. Oh, almost certainly. Oh, okay. I do not. I do not believe if there was some knowledge, um, it uh, it probably died with their leader. Okay, uh, Sam. But I've... I really, I really do think that it this was a uh, that these guys were hired. Sam would um, myself or or Matthew's character have heard of the Renfield Gang? Uh, make knowledge local checks. All right. And if we don't have anything, it's just a D20? Yes. All right. All right. Is it, do they not get the int bonus? Hmm? Do they not get an int bonus? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can add, add your int bonus. It's a good point. Ah. <laughs> add, huh? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a negative int? Or subtract your int bonus. If... I might have a negative intelligence bonus. I'm not, I'm not saying it could happen. I'm not saying it couldn't. Yeah, no. I, oh. I, 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 I'm guessing if we're both below 10 that we have no knowledge of these gangs. <laughs> we, it depends on what you roll. I rolled I a roll 6. A, I rolled so, a yeah, um, you know, because uh, Russell tends to keep to himself and keep away from that sort of thing. Or, sorry, Randall. Um, no, Russell. He, huh? It is Russell. Oh, it is, oh. It is Russell? Yeah, why? I'm Russell. Oh, then why does it say Randall on your... Well, I don't know. <laughs> huh. Oh, I must have written it wrong. Sorry about that. Nope, that's all right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Russell, um, because he kind of keeps to himself, he is not aware of this. I mean, he knows there are gangs in the area, but he hasn't heard that specific name. Mm -hmm. um, Matthew, you've heard, because I think possibly because you're a fanboy of The Hanging Judge, um, some of his more colorful tales involve um, repeated takedowns of, of members of this gang. Uh, they, as he said, wear red bandanas. They tend to you know, take all sorts of no good jobs. They like stick up people who are heading to and from redemption. Um, they, you know, uh, have definitely, you know, murdered people, robbed people. They wouldn't be surprised you at all if, if they were killers for hire for someone else. And um, they do have like a pretty, a tendency to kind of get away with it. Okay. Um, Alder will, and by, by the way, Alder, it is Alder. The name is Alder. I want you to write that down. It's very important that you know Alder uh, conveys that information. Uh, I believe I read it in the dime novel. It was the Barn Owl's Conundrum, a hanging judge adventure. But they do have a dis just a disturbing tendency to get away with, with their crimes. Mm hmm. Well, then that explains why they were hired. I would agree. Mm -hmm. um, does does this little statue have a name? Uh, it does, but it's a Nahuatl. Um, it is tied to the goddess Chimalma. Okay. And what does it, I mean... It looks like it drains 
energies and powers from what uh no, not necessarily i I don't know exactly how it works. I just know that it is not supposed to do this. If it is regularly maintained, it does something else. Maybe ah. actually provides the opposite effect or allows the user to do something else. But without the proper rituals of maintenance, it starts uh, blighting the the countryside, as it were. I see. Okay. So the question does become, do they know that and intend it, or is this simply an unintended consequence of someone who does not know how to deal with the arcane powers? That is, in fact, the question. And aside from the fact that we, now we know this person has significant resources at their disposal, it really doesn't answer that. Mm. They could just simply be trying to wait it out and see if they're if the bad things go away or they could be intentionally doing it well, very do you have any do you have any insight into this after all apparently you are some sort of witch mm. i am some sort of witch do i have any and let me see i think that would probably be a knowledge check huh it would be um you could make a knowledge arcana check Ooh, I could do that. I shall attempt such a thing. If I had a hammer. Uh, you needed a hammer? A hammer in the morning. <laughs> Hang on. Just ignore me when I sing. <laughs> Rolling the dice. Ugh, that's bad. A ten for Arcana. I mean, that's enough to to know. You've heard of necromancy which is a type of magic that you don't do but is death magic um mm. and it can sometimes do things like make people sick or or kill plants or animals i suspect that it's related to necromancy some sort of death magic mm. but i i'm i'm not a practitioner myself and so it would be mostly theoretical. I, I can tell you that possibly if we were to see it, I might have absolutely no idea how it works. So that's fun. But I'd be willing to at least look if we can find and identify the source and the, the statue and everything of that nature. Good to know. I have nothing else at this time. Cool. Then you guys ride quietly until you arrive at perdition. Are we talking quiet, quiet, or elder quiet? Uh, so yeah, uh, if elder wants to keep making uh, small talk, he's more than welcome to. He more than likely will. <laughs> yeah, and we can we can uh, abstract the that elder doesn't stop talking without actually <laughs> role-playing it, I think. I Sounds agree. good. Sure. <laughs> that, that, that's a control freak thing right there. Yeah, you're good. We're good. Sure. It's all good. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this is the basically definition of a one-horse town. Um, you guys pull in. It's very small, but um, there's a inn, um, which is uh, clearly pretty new construction and very simple. Uh, it's the notable things about it is actually is, um, there's a sign that says the captain quarters in and tavern. Um, and there is a flag above it. Um, that's like a U.S. flag, but in the left, uh, corner where the stars would be, there's just a ring of stars. Uh, and it has a image of a anchor that's crossed with an image of a cannon. Um, and then right under that flag, there's another flag that's like a small pennant that is white with a black line through it. Um, and beyond the, that, there's also what looks like a blacksmith's place, a, uh, a wagon repair shop, a general store, uh, but much smaller than the one in Redemption, and a, a few simple houses that presumably belong to the people that operate said businesses. So instead of the, what would it be, 38 stars that we should see at this time frame, there's something else in the blue field? 
Yes, there are still okay. a ring of white stars around the um, the symbol of which is the the, the anchor and cannon crossed, anchor. Uh, but there are fewer stars than would be. I'm going to go that, with 38. Feel free to check me on that later. Is that something that symbol something that we should recognize or? That's a really good question. Um, does anyone have knowledge history? No, I do sure. not. Nope. Okay. I have a negative uh, one yes. to it. You have I knowledge do. history? Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, roll then it. you can roll it. Okay. It's not great, you guys. Uh, it's okay, we're with you. Better than the rest of us, I bet. Cheering all the way. Oh, that's, 13. That's good enough. You don't know exactly what, what this symbolizes, but you know that um, during the Civil War, there were a lot of different flags um, mm -hmm. that were associated with different armies, um, and you think that this is one of them. I see. Um, the fact that it's got a mostly hewing towards the like the standard American flag makes you think it was Union side, but yeah, which is strange to find in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. So, but I will, I will, I won't comment on it. And uh, uh, actually, I'm guessing Eshin is covered up. Yeah, Eshin is. You're back to being disguised. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And yeah, Alder would actually also recognize that this is um, some kind of civil war flag. Cool. Your your dad had something similar. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Okay. Um. I cool. wonder if Alder keeps his own counsel on that. That's totally up to you. Well, yeah. he is your character, so you're the only one yes. who could tell us. Hush. The new character, I'm trying to decide how I <laughs> okay, respond. Right, you're you're working it out. All right, all right, all right. I'm with you. All right. Sometimes my process is verbal, and by sometimes I mean when I'm awake. Okay. Uh, what an interesting flag. He said. Hmm. Hmm. Certainly the uh, part in the middle there is not uh, expected. That is not the standard. I believe that is that is a uh, thing that Samantha said earlier that I say in character that does not sound stupid. <laughs> it looks like one of, the, uh, one of the handful of flags that were used during uh, your uh, civil war. It... I would imagine it is either for a splinter faction or for an actual regimen. Which makes me wonder. Oh, well, no sense in worrying about it now. So, yeah, what do you guys do? It is getting on towards evening. Perhaps uh, the one horse town has the one horse inn where we should maybe get one bedrooms well that is where the uh the flag is actually hanging is um on mm. above the inn which is uh as i mentioned called the uh, captain quarters yeah the captain's Captain. quarters yes let us secure lodging yes and definitely keep an eye out if the since the ambush was unsuccessful there might be uh there might be remnants mm. Ooh, are there people loiter loitering around town? I mean, there are. It's it's pretty quiet, but like, there's you know a guy working. You know, looks like finishing up work at the blacksmith. Working, looks like he's working on repairing some uh, horseshoes. Uh, there's someone like filling up a, a trough in front of the uh, uh, wagon repair, where there's like a horse that's drinking from it. There's a pair of kids that have like a hoop and are running back and forth with it. <laughs> kids today with their hoops. Never take their eyes off those hoops. When I was a boy, I will tell you, we did not stare at our hoop all day. We actually talked to each other. Mm. Mm -hmm. At least they're not burning scorpions. That sounds terrible. Why would you do that? I've seen things. Oh. Children can be very mean. Very cruel, I suppose. You don't burn scorpions, you crush them, and the carapaces make a lovely tea. 
it's good for the gout and also for uh, dyspepsia. You mix it with a little burdock root, it actually tastes very peppy. <laughs> Keep that in mind. I'll make you some. Uh, come by, come by my office. It will be fine. I'll uh, I'll dismount in front of the inn. Cool. As There's... we all will. Mm. <laughs> uh, Elder climbs down off of wildfire. There is a stable that's uh that's set up in front of the inn. Um, and yeah, as you guys approach, uh, there doesn't appear to be anyone in the stable, though a, you can hear like the sound of a, like a really loud, really deep sound of a dog barking from coming from inside the inn. Um, and, um, a, uh, that is, uh, a young woman comes out of the door. Um, she's in her like late teens, early twenties, uh, curly, dark brown, shoulder length hair, uh, green eyes, freckles. Uh, she's wearing a pretty simple dress that's got like an apron that's kind of dusty. It looks like maybe she's uh, had flour on it. And next to her is probably one of the biggest dogs you guys have ever seen. Um, it is like two and a half feet tall, probably 150 pounds, uh, just really big. Uh, beige, uh, black snout and paws and is uh, barking at you guys. Alder absentmindedly snaps his fingers to call Don over to his side. Uh, Don comes to your side, and uh, she's got like her hackles on her neck uh, up as she's looking at this dog that's that's barking. Uh, and the uh, the girl is like uh, puts her hand on. It's like, uh, howdy, folks. Good Hello. evening, ma'am. Hello. Y'all here to spend the night? Yes. Oh, good. Then calm down, Huckleberry. The dog, like, whines a second and sits down. Uh, she's like, all right, well, let me uh, get your horses taken care of. Um, you know, it's going to be a uh, quarter for that. We can get you some lodgings, and uh, I've, uh, I've got some foods uh, I can cook up for you. That is all right. Sounds fine. Thank yes. you. Uh, well, welcome to the captain's quarters. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind uh, helping with the uh, unsaddling your horses, we're, uh, we're a bit shorthanded at the moment, unfortunately. Of course. No problem. What is your uh, policy regarding animals inside? She, like, looks at you and then sees the uh, uh, dawn for the first time. And it's like, oh, what a cutie. Oh, well, it would be downright hypocritical of me to say you couldn't bring your pup inside when uh, Huckleberry lives here with me. So uh, uh, he's, uh, uh, she? Uh, she, uh, yes. She's, uh, she's, she's trained. She's not going to rip up any of the furniture or anything like that, right? She's, she's very well behaved. She will take <laughs> care of it. It will be, all will Excellent. be well. Um. The uh, the big dog starts, uh, who has also noticed her noticing your dog, starts like kind of slowly ambling up to try to sniff at Dawn. Mm. <laughs> How good they like each other. Investigatory. Yeah. If you do not oh, stop, about... okay. The the dogs will engage in the classic mutual butt sniffing. Why would they stop? That it's it's what dogs do. Yep, they seem to, as uh, Chima says, like each other. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't like each other too much. Is all I'm saying. Oh, uh, I was saying then he gets more familiars. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's exactly how that works. <laughs> Puppy familiars for everyone. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> It's like, oh, that's cute. Wait, do I have to take a feed for this? Never mind. <laughs> uh, so yeah, she gets you guys. Ryan's dog will have a mask. <laughs> oh my Rob god, that's so a, cute. Rob will get a monitor lizard. <laughs> it's like, wait, my my dog gave birth to a monitor lizard. <laughs> exactly. It's like that episode of Star Trek. Yep. Tom um, Bailiff. <laughs> <laughs> That is great. That is beautiful. 
<laughs> I think that's canon. Woo! Oh boy, uh, puppies for everyone. Uh, so yeah, um, the um, young woman helps you guys get the horses uh, all set up in the stable. It's like actually a, a moderately sized stable for for the town. Um, there's uh, two horses that are still in there aside from your horses, um, and seems to be well kept. There's a few lanterns uh, hanging from it, you know, nice and clean straw. Mm-hmm. Was Eshen traveling by horse, or was he? Yeah, he's got yeah. a horse. Yeah, okay. you guys all have horses. Okay. My brain was thinking that he was running alongside for some reason. Barbarians aren't that fast. I don't know. And then, yeah, after you're, you guys get the horses, too, she, you know, welcomes you guys all in and says uh, she can show you to your rooms um, or she can get you some food and drink first, whichever you'd prefer. Meal. Well, food I and agree. drink does sound good. Some good. food would be lovely. Uh, absolutely. I'd prefer to take my meal in my room, please. Uh Oh yeah, that's a really good question. How does the is the judge wearing like a mask is, when he comes into town? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, so she, when you like, I think speak up for the first time, she looks at you. She's like, uh, um, there a uh, some kind of party? A so family. Mardi Gras. Suddenly, was... suddenly, I am very curious about this town's parties. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was Mardi Gras, and he he loves he loves the mask more than life itself, and we we engage him. We 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 like to. It's it's, it's, it's August. His creativity. It is it's August. They're very fashionable. Everyone will wear them in the future. I understand? It's it's. it's... <laughs> uh... You guys aren't planning on making any trouble, are you? No, oh, ma'am. No, no, no. All right, that's good. We never, we never plan to make trouble. That, that, yeah. that is not how any. Should we have aliases? <laughs> uh, then, uh, yeah, I suppose I could bring you your food upstairs, sir. Um, Very much appreciated. So, um,. She'll show you a uh, room upstairs first. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, they're like kind of decorated in a sort of mismatched way. Like it looks like maybe this was probably like someone's maybe used furniture. Like nothing here mm-hmm. looks especially new. Um, but like there's a bed and like it's a definitely like a handmade quilt and some uh, kind of mismatch of books and knickknacks and things like that. You know, there's like. Uh, some kind of like pretty rock and like a little potted cactus. Oh. And, um, and then, yeah, there's a uh, uh, room for each of you guys. If you, unless you want to, any of you want to share a room. I'm fine in a room by myself. As a yeah, that's fine. Cool. I am too. Uh, and then, yeah, she'll, uh, after showing the rooms, uh, start serving food. Uh, they, the inn is again, pretty simple. There's like, kind of like picnic style tables, like long communal spaces with benches uh, made out of wood. And there's a, a back kitchen. Um, then I got some kind of IM. Oh, I don't know why. Sorry, I, I, ac- I accidentally rolled a D4. Oh, okay. I was just <laughs> making sure someone wasn't trying to send me secret messages. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no worries. So yeah, she brings out, uh, she offers that she's got some uh, beer if she wa- if you guys want, and there's also some whiskey if you want that. Uh, yes, and please. Then, cool. That's, you know, she's happy to, to pour some shots uh, and some, or some tumblers, depending on how much you want to drink, and uh, offers up some food, which is decidedly mediocre it tends it's Mm -hmm. like either a little too salty or a little too spicy or not spicy enough like basically depending on what the dish is so there's like too salty like corn and like a too spicy like beef stew more whiskey please uh yeah yeah of course so uh where you folks uh got business in the port 
Uh, Jess, we're on our way there. Um, just uh, trying to catch up to some acquaintances. Yeah. Well, uh, good, good luck. You in the, the shipping business? Yes. Uh, once this business is all concluded, we are hoping that uh, we can uh, send a, a little shipment back to Mexico and uh, that will be the end of our business. Very well. Well, uh, the uh, uh, I hear that's the the best place to do it is uh, from uh, Santiago. Mm hmm. What is that town like? Uh, well, it's um, you know, I, I lived there for a bit, but the, uh, the smoke from the ships got a little bit too much for my uh, my pa. He's he's sick. That's why it's just me at the inn right now. Um, mm -hmm. but, uh, it's always a busy place. I mean, it's not that old a town, like this isn't that old a town, I suppose. Uh, you know, mostly men doing their thing, working a lot. Uh, lots of, sometimes big money coming in from Mexico. A lot of stuff comes from there into here. Uh, though, honestly, we only get the, the smaller shipments through here. Uh, there are like a few other people that are in the uh, the inn, by the way. Like she's talking to you guys because you seem to be the most mm -hmm. interesting uh, by far. But there's like a few guys that look like they are some kind of traders. Like you'd think maybe furriers um, from like just the the way they're dressed. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so she's like, yeah. And um, oh, what else? Oh, you know, we we actually saw. Uh, the the owner of the port he just uh just recently he came through uh he's on the way to some uh big engagement in redemption he was very excited about it had to get there plenty early so he could get some new clothes oh but you don't want to hear me gossiping who who was the, who was the owner oh uh, uh oh oh uh mr wilson uh arthur wilson ah And and he is he came through here and he is heading for redemption. Uh yes. There's uh, okay. some some kind of party going on there. I don't know some something business related. Not not really. I don't really know mm. what that's about. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I I try not to. I don't go down there that much. It tends to be like a honestly a little smelly. All the the ships and things like that. Lots of fish. Mm -hmm. Sailors. <laughs> yeah. I um, mean, they came through a fair bit here, you know, when they are uh, heading for, I guess, more interesting things than you can get out at uh, Los Brazos. Uh, but uh been a little quiet here since uh, uh last few days, I suppose. Usually get a little bit more entertainment from the, the sailors going north. Well, we, we saw, again, like I said, Mr. Wilson, and then there was uh, a couple coming through with the post ship from Redemption. Mm -hmm. Is this mm -hmm. a, a Gulf port or a river port? It is a Gulf port. Cool. For some reason, my brain was thinking the other side of Texas. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what about what about you, folk? So you are uh, in the shipping business. That's interesting. What 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 do you ship? Oh, we are just starting to get into it so um we are hoping to move something in um and then just uh take it down south we are still in the process of working out the deal that is why we are heading there on our own no, uh do here it's a good place to do business yes Oh, by the way, this food has been lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I I do appreciate that. I've been I've been working on my my cooking. It's again, it's not as as good as mom makes, but she's been mostly taking care of pa. So I'm kind of holding the place down. Just just me and uh, Huckleberry. The dog is asleep. Um, yeah. Which is good. Sleeping dogs lie and all like that. He is snoring extremely loudly. <laughs> Who's the rest of try? Yeah. I don't know. Um, and uh, so, so and uh, 
How about how about you? What you your uh, uh that is an unusual dog you got there. It's just uh quite the coloration. Oh, she's she's not particularly unusual. I mean, where I come from, of course, she she they're everywhere. She's oh, you have a dog and a dog. Where where are you from? I, I've never heard a accent quite like that one. Oh yes, uh, North Carolina. <laughs> Interesting. Really? North Carolina, you don't say. Yes, uh, it, it's it's actually. A, that's, uh, do you know where uh, uh, Louisiana is? Uh, yeah. It's on the other side. No, I'm I'm, so, uh, I'm away. My uh, my my dad had fought in in North Carolina. He did some uh, some blockade running in there. Oh, blockade running is exciting work. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, where the 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 flag outside came from. But yeah, then he uh, he wanted to be by the sea, but not like. Not uh, the sea. You yeah, to be- it was complicated. It was a lot of debating between him and my mom about where we'd settle. Uh, sometimes you want to be near something without having it be too near, and yeah, these but- these things become difficult. I'm sorry, I have a question uh, for you. Uh- we have heard uh, stories of uh, highwaymen and robbers mm-hmm. around these parts. Um, have you, have you, or any of your guests encountered any any time recently? Uh, huh. I mean, I've heard stories for sure. Uh, you know, she like smiles slightly and like taps on the bar, and it's like, I mean, uh keep myself uh, some protection here and keep for a case of that sort of thing. Um, and, but uh, nothing, nothing too recently. I don't know. I mean, this is a pretty small town. Things come through here, but nothing, nothing too fancy that people are actually, like I said, it's mostly if the bigger, the, I hear about the bigger caravans get hit by by bandits sometimes, but they don't usually come into town. They they have their own security and their own accommodations. If you were, uh, they stay sure. outside. Um, but you know, I mean, I, I, sometimes you get things like you know the Renfields that that come down here, or there's there's a few other gangs. There. There's the uh, the Padres. Um, there's uh, oh man, I can't keep them all straight. They come in from the port, or they come in from the trains. Sure. These rain fields, have they been through town recently? Not that I've seen. Hmm. Uh, at least not if they're, if they're flying their uh, bandanas. That would be that would be quite the scene. Sure. Any other large groups coming through south? Uh, coming south. Uh, or heading north, as it were. Hmm. Um, well, we had the, a couple come in just uh, past day. To think about that. No, not not that particularly big. I see. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, we are just starting to uh, uh, get into uh, finding cargo routes and things like that. We have to keep on top of this sort of thing. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Well, um, yeah, I'm sure you could, if you're interested in getting into business, you can you know talk to some people down in uh, uh, you know, let's let's uh. Brazos, uh, or up in Redemption. I mean, honestly, we're we're pretty much a waypoint. Oh, just well, that is not a bad thing. Well, anything else I can uh, get you guys before uh, turning down? Russell stands up. Imports and F- exports. Bottle, please. <laughs> uh, you want a bottle of whiskey, or you want me to import? Yes, something? ma'am. Bottle of whiskey. Of course. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll. Uh, I- Add it to your tab, uh, and yeah, I'll I'll be here. I'm I'm working on some uh, baking some bread for tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I'll be here all night if you need anything. Russell takes Thank the you. B- bottle, goes upstairs to his room. I I have concerns about his whiskey. Uh, you know, uh, when I first saw Russell. Uh, I said, I thought, I thought to myself, this is here is someone who has probably not ever been in a fight, 
Then when I saw him fight, I thought to myself, this is someone who has clearly been in a fight. But now that I see how he drinks after a fight, I think to myself, maybe actually he hasn't seen that many fights. Mm. An interesting point. Well, we shall have to watch, I suppose, and see. But uh, anyway. yes, actually, if you, uh, I assume your companion is good to stay up during the night. You may want to keep an ear out. I'm not entirely sure we're going to be safe here. I agree. I'm going to way, go I'm not uh, really from North Carolina. I did, you know, I am not that familiar with American accents, but I had a feeling. I'm, I'm actually from South Carolina. <laughs> oh, yes, right. Like I said, I'm not good with accents. Perhaps I need an alias. Oh. Uh, like just uh, another name, or like do you want to go like something like the judge and have a oh. mysterious name? Mm, I think perhaps that would be too far to go. Just you need something else to go with it if you're gonna do that, like a bandana to cover your face, or like a mask, or like a really big helmet. I really don't have a face for a helmet or a large hat. This is these are the problems we have. When you, uh, I think perhaps it's best to go to sleep. All right, I'm gonna take a walk around the town, just get a feel for it. Be careful. I will. I will actually walk with Chema. Oh, okay. You suddenly have a giant shadow. Oh, I knew he was around. He's he's absolutely the strong silent type. <laughs> you not unexpectedly have a giant shadow. So, yeah, uh, we'll take a walk around town, just trying to get a feel for it. Cool. Um, yeah, it's a it's a fairly small town. Um, you would guess, though, that like most people who are here are the types that like solitude um, or are in some ways uh, vigilant against that sort. Like the reason that they have don't have bandits is probably a they don't have anything that's particularly valuable. And B, mm -hmm. you think everyone here is like uh, has some combination of giant dogs, shotguns or military experience and would fight any bandits that came into town or giant right. dogs with shotguns, which. Yeah. Uh, so like you see, it's like uh, not as many, like not a, as dog as big as uh, the one that was at the inn. Um, but uh, there is a, you know, you like the, you have a few like encounters, especially when like Eshin is nearby. Dogs just mm -hmm. don't seem to like him. Um, they, you know, there's like some like hounds and boxers, like that seem to like be sleeping outside for the most part, as opposed to indoors. Um, so like a few of them are like kind of tied up and like growl and bark at you guys um, when mm -hmm. you pass. <sighs> and like, yeah, and like people peer out of their shades and like kind of give you, uh, like look you over to be like, mm -hmm. are you going to make trouble? Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, are, is there any type of business in particular you're looking for or you're just kind of wandering? I'm just kind of trying to get a feel for the size of the town, um, likely directions that we should, you know, ride out if things get bad. Cool. Um, yeah. Um, also to see if there's like a constabulary of some kind, just so that I know where it is. Sure. Uh, so there is. Um, it is not. It is not impressive. Um, mm -hmm. It's like a kind of one room place um, that, like, it says like uh, sheriffs uh, outside. Um, and like, uh, do you do you go in or introduce yourself or anything? No, no. I'm just okay. gonna keep an eye out and. Basically, once I go once around the town, I'll just head back in. I just want to know where everything is. Um, cool. And obviously, any like huge suspicions, suspicious things that I observe. But, you know, if it just seems like uh, a regular like uh, waypoint little town, then I'll just head back. Yeah, it seems like a fairly regular waypoint little town. Um, there's nothing like it. You know, you think maybe like 
at max 50 people live here. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, there's like a, a watering hole. It's, it's August. So like, it's been rainy. Um, and there's like a place where, you know, you could get like, you know, actually buy wholesale whiskey if that's what you wanted. Mm -hmm. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty quiet. There's uh, basically you want to ride straight through this town and just keep heading south to go to uh, uh, this port city the if port. that's what you're heading. Yep. Yeah. There's like some kind of you know basically hilly, rocky scrublands around it uh, that you could also go to if if you wanted to get out of here in a hurry. Mm -hmm. But yeah, nothing nothing really jumps out at you as something that's gonna you know be a real problem right now. Okay. Well, what is your assessment, Eshen? I'm scarier than everything here. That's good to know. And I concur. So, uh, are you actually going to sleep in here, or should we meet you somewhere in the no. morning? South. Okay. Well, we will head out and meet you similarly to last time. Right. Especially he tomorrow. Gives an awkward nod. Doesn't quite look like a nod should be, and then kind of wanders off out of the town. Okay. And pulls away. Uh, Eshin, why don't you make me a either uh, knowledge, nature, or survival? Your choice. Uh. One of those Should is be probably better. better than the other. Neither of those is better than the other. Yay, they both are awful. They both are mediocre. Pick one. Yeah. Roll the dice. Yeah. Also, yeah. neither of them are worse than the other. Yeah. <laughs> right. Roll one and uh, survival. Ooh. Glass half full oh. kind of guy. <laughs> 25. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's great. That glass uh, is a little more than half full. Uh, so you are seeing... Uh, again, as you've gotten closer um, or further south, more evidence of the kind of plant blight um, and a little bit less in terms of like lizards and, and scorpions and other sort of things that you would notice. Um, though it's not as bad here as you would expect. Like basically when you were heading out of Redemption, like you could see it. And then um, there was like sort of like it was, it was almost progressively getting worse on the road. Uh, and then, uh, you know, there's still plenty of healthy plants, but just like a little bit, like I said, for, for, for late summer, there's a little more dried up or withering stuff than you would expect. Um, here, like there's clearly some evidence of it, but, um, all the cactuses actually seem to just be doing very well. Hmm. Hmm. Head will tilt beyond what a normal head would do. <laughs> uh, and he'll head over to one of the cactuses. Mm -hmm. uh, cacti. Uh, and just kind of I'll just start in investigating it. Uh, seeing, you know, poke, poke what's poke, different poke. about it compared poke. to punch it. I mean, why. it really just looks like a cactus should look in late August. Like it's a, you know, this one's like a little squat barrel cactus. It's like starting to like bud, um, but it it really is only notable in contrast to say like this palm that's hanging out next to it where like the leaves are starting to turn brown. All right. Take a look at the dying things then. Um, so yeah, the dying things are, it's really weird. Just basically they seem to be spontaneously dying. Like you can't tell there's nothing that, um, no signs of disease, no signs of like, you know, a infestation or drought. Uh, as far as you can tell, like this was a healthy plant and then it just wasn't. It's spreading. Yep. 
Is there... Is it just kind of a bunch of random plants, or is it like all of the uh, few plants in the area other than cacti? Um, you know, it's it's hard. It wouldn't be random. You'd say that the like the younger you you would guess that the plants that would be more vulnerable to any sort of normal problem uh, are being affected here. So like young plants or older plants or plants that had like been damaged by say natural fire or something like that are uh, starting to show more signs of withering. So it's appearing the more susceptible you are to natural disease, the more susceptible you are to this. Correct. I'm going to find a couple of cactuses relatively close to each other. Cool. That's easy. They actually tend to... They sometimes tend to stack. So there's like... uh, it's like a big, like a relatively tall cactus, and then there's another cactus that's kind of decided to grow in its shade. I am going to snap a chunk off the shady one. Uh, drink the, me some cactus juice. The one that's producing the shade? Uh, the one that's in the shade. The one that's in the shade. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, are you... You basically trying to like take the whole cactus, or are you trying to do it in like a way that like the cactus will uh, still be alive? I want the cactus to still be alive. Cool. Uh, then yeah, you take a little sustainable snip. Um, it's you know cool and refreshing. This is I mean with your survival check, I'll say that you could identify that this is a edible, non toxic cactus. Uh-huh. Just kind of make a mental note of where this is and wander off to see if I can find something to eat. Cool. There are uh, some, you know, basically gophers that you can find. Keeps me sustained. Well, gophers, good eating. It's not much eating. Uh, yeah, eat me some gophers, find a place to spend the rest of the night. Cool. Preferably somewhere where I can actually be within earshot of the uh, hotel if something large starts to go down. Sure, that's that's relatively easy. Yeah. This place is, is a fairly wild place, so you can find like a nice little rocky outcropping. All right, that'll uh, work. You bed down. Uh, everyone else going to sleep? Going to check on uh, Russell. Russell opens the door. R- Russell, M- Mr. Street, I, j- I just wanted to make sure you're all right. I'm fine. You You seemed a bit, well, uh, if, if you're fine, you're fine. I just wanted to make certain. Takes a drink from the whiskey bottle. I'm definitely fine. That seems like a lot of whiskey. Uh, for someone of your size, sure. All right. Well, uh, we will see you in the morning then. Definitely. Closes the door. Goes back to looking out the window, overlooking the uh, front of the, the inn. And drinking. And drinking right from the bottle. Nice. And I think if everyone's asleep, Mm -hmm. I think that's a good place to end this week's episode. Thank you so much for downloading and listening. Thank you for being part of Major Spoilers. If you want to uh, support indie podcasters, the best way to do it is to head to patreon.com slash majorspoilers. Check and see what we have to offer. Look at the uh, cool bonuses you get and the extras that you get when you become a, a patron. And then sign up. A little bit helps. It goes a long way when all of you, and there's a lot of you out there listening, when all of you contribute, then we can do amazing things. So that's patreon.com slash major spoilers. Again, thank you so much for checking us out this week. And until next time, here's hoping all of your dice rolls are critical hits.
This podcast is copyright 2017 by Major Spoilers Entertainment, LLC.